Hello everyone, welcome back to the garden. In today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on these gigantic sunflowers and show you how I'm gonna be staking them so that I hopefully don't lose them in the storms we are about to have. And then towards the end of the video, I'm just gonna show you some of the bouquets I've been able to make with the beautiful sunflowers that I planted just for cutting. All right guys, so as you can see, the Mongolian giant and the mammoth gray striped sunflowers are beginning to get quite large. They're pretty much caught up with the ones that self-seeded early in the year. Although I will say that I've already cut a few of the blooms off the very top of those plants over there. And a few of them have began uh, forming seeds. So they're all kind of flopped over. Uh, but they were a little taller than they currently look. But as you can see, they are quite large and we have been having some very heavy rains and I came out here and tied them up. I tied up the back row and then I tied up the middle row with this right here, uh, but it really didn't hold them back. They were leaning forward quite a bit. So today I'm coming out here with this thicker rope because it would be very devastating to lose all of these beautiful sunflowers which the ones the really tall ones in the back those are just for uh, you know landscape those aren't for cutting and selling but still I don't want to lose them so I've came out here with this uh, thicker rope I've got it tied off to the other side and then I just came through and weaved it through the back row and a half kind of uh, because some of them are leaning forward a uh, little more than others. And then right now I just have it wrapped around a few times just to hold it because I wanted to see how tight I needed to get it because I am doing this by myself. So I'm gonna get it a little bit tighter, I think, make sure nothing looks like it's getting ready to break or anything like that. And then I will officially cut the rope and tie it. But I also wanted to bring you down here to where the larger sunflowers are and show you <laughs> these humongous leaves. Like, look at that. I thought the ones over there were big. My goodness. Like, literally, that takes up. I'll show you these over here quickly. Some of the lower ones I've already cut off because they were looking really bad because of the Japanese beetles. But, you know, like these I thought were big. You know, they're like three times the size of my hand. But that one is a good five or six times the size of my hand. That's just crazy. Some of them have quite a bit of bug damage on them, but I mean, for cut flower purposes, I don't care about that. Ooh, look at that leaf hopper. I need to take care of him. So he got away from me, but uh, one little tip that I've learned, um, if you don't like crushing bugs in between your fingers, which I don't like to do, I'll usually lift up the leaf to see if there's any bugs under it before I go grabbing on it. And then I will go like that very slowly and I will just Go like that really quickly and that takes care of it usually before they jump away all right so i'm gonna get these sunflowers tied up but i just wanted to show you how i am staking these guys up i've got a t-post in the back which i knew that it wasn't going to be tall enough but i figured as long as i had something about midway Hopefully uh, that will, you know, keep them from breaking. And then I have just this little garden stake for the middle row because they were going to be the cut flower sunflowers, which all were going to be under eight foot tall. Um, and it didn't bend this. This was already bent like this when I put it in. So that's why it doesn't look very straight. It was already like that. 
but you can see I tied it up at the bottom there earlier in the season and now I'm needing to do another like maybe about right there they're getting so big now it's getting a little hard but you have to wait until they get tall enough and here comes a train so I will end right here <laughs> 